PDW F800. Uh, let's take a look at some of the actual physical parts of the camera. Here we have um, under the flap at the front, this is where your memory stick is inserted. And here you have your dip switches for your menu just above it there. And the way you get into the menu is to hold down the rotary knob and push the silver toggle switch on the left down to the on position. That will get you into the top menu. The assignable switches, one, two, this is five, three and four are here on top. They're pushed in. Two is a switch. A display screen, you can switch between video, video with text, and you can also see your, your view meters and your time code on the screen there. This changes the display here. And here is also your uh, time code you use a bit, but you can see changing here in the uh, LED display screen right here. Here you have the um, the thumbnail, the menu, and then also you have your up and down arrows, which allows you to scroll through to which clip you want. The uh, shift indicates here in the orange text control over everything that's written in orange. So if you want to get into your disk menu, you have to hit shift and hold it down first. And then that'll get you into the into the disk menu. Formatting the disk is in the disk menu. You cannot format the disk through the camera menu. You have to do it. Actually, have to do it through the disk menu. This is how we format the disk. You can actually go to format. Select it, and then hit OK. And you, underneath the front of the camera, you have your volume control for the front mic. It's right underneath the white balance switch, and you also have a little protector here that slides in front of it to prevent you from turning it accidentally. And if you look here on the back, here are the HD, SDI, and SDI BNC outs. There's one. And there's number two. Of course, that's where your paint box plugs in at for your remote and your 12 volt DC. And your test out, like in the Digibeta, is here on the uh, uh, opposite side. Four Kun Hiroshi, does 0.5 amps. Power tap is at 50 watts. And here is your eye link, also known as your uh, 1394 um, Firewire. Here's your audio out, your 5 pin audio out. Also, we have the, uh, the Ethernet port. And you also have a USB port here. You use your do your software upgrades from this port. The mic input is a 5 pin input. It has phantom power built into it, so you'll need a transformer to put in line in order to use that for channels 3 and 4. But you can access channels 3 and 4 through the, uh, the stereo mic input, which is a 5 pin. But you will have to use that transformer. Uh, the filter wheels, uh, the neutral densities are stopped at. Um, Two, two stops, four stops, six stops. The camera is rated at an 800 ASA. If you go to the gain settings and you put it at negative three, uh, you lose half a stop. If you put it at negative six, you lose a whole stop. Uh, it's a 14-bit uh, ADD conversion. Uh, the block itself is the same as the one that's in the... Uh, the uh, HDC 1500.
uh, fiber optic camera.